Hello and welcome to Reboot Theater. I'm your host, The Invisible Man. Remember Wreck-It Ralph? That fun original movie about sentient video game characters that can go into each other's games? It was a splendid movie with themes of pride, prejudice, betrayal, sacrifice, and most of all, accepting yourself for who you truly are. I'm bad, and that's good. I will never be good, and that's not bad. There's no one I'd rather be than me. It remains one of my favorite Disney movies and has one of the most well-developed plot twists I've ever seen. Is that? No way! Well, enough of that shit. This is Ralph Breaks the Internet. Well, they did it. They decided to milk this movie for all it was worth. But is a sequel really necessary? I mean, yes, I would love to further explore this complex and vibrant world the filmmakers created, but at the same time, haven't we been there, done that? If it were an animated series that continues the story, I feel like that could have worked, but another whole movie just feels like overkill. So let's take a look at this sloppy second sequel, the emoji book, I mean, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Silly me, how could I get those two confused? We start off with our heroes from the first film, Ralph and Vanellope, goofing off and being pals while the arcade is closed. Okay, let's see what you got, kid. Uh, ooh, nice one. The pair enjoy racing Tron bikes, chugging root beer at Teppers, and punching footballs through goalposts. Home run! Basically, Ralph is perfectly happy with his life, but Vanellope longs for some more variety in her daily routine. Every bonus level's been unlocked, I know every shortcut. Man, I'd kill for even just a new track. So to make his friend happy, Ralph takes it upon himself to make a new track for Vanellope. She wants a new track, I'll give her a new track. <laughs> what? Looking for something new? Then take this track. <laughs> Ralph, you old son of a gun. So Vanellope goes turbo and takes control of the game. This results in the game getting broken and Litwag pulls the plug. We're home with you, you. We're home with you. Well, there's a reason his name isn't Makes Everything Better, Ralph. Then the homeless characters need to find new homes, and Felix and Calhoun decide to adopt the young racers. How hard can parenting be? You treat the child like your best friend, you give them everything they want, and you just love their little socks off. Hey, Mom! Why does your lame TV only have one channel? Well, hate to say I told you so. Now, this could have been a fun B-plot, but instead we never come back to it. No, really, this is all we get in the whole movie. The next time we see them, it's... The key to parenting is... Oh, cute. And that is the secret to raising perfect children. Wow. I wish every parent could hear that. Goodbye, two very good but wasted voice actors. We barely got any of you this time. Now I'm a father of 15. Isn't that just a blessing? <laughs> so Ralph decides to go to the internet and find a new part to fix Vanellope's game. And the pair use the arcade's router to travel to the World Wide Web. <laughs> At first glance, this site may give you anxiety as it's very similar to the establishing shot of the Emoji Movie. But it's different because... Uh, Vanellope and Ralph try to find eBay so they can buy a new steering wheel, but they don't know where to find it. So they ask a search engine for help. What can Nosemore help you find today? Um, Umbrella, Umbridge, Umami, Uma Thurman. No. Noah's Ark, No Doubt, No Nordstrom, uh. Ergonomics, Urban Outfitters. Okay, here's one way it's not like the Emoji Movie. While it does have a lot of product placement like Snapchat and Amazon, they had the perfect opportunity to make this an advertisement for Google. But instead they used a fictional search engine to show they do have some dignity. Bravo guys, golf clap. The pair get redirected to eBay and prepare to find the steering wheel, but not before a spot on clickbait joke. Sassy housewives wanna meet you. They do. Congratulations, you're a winner. Really? These 10 child stars went to prison. Number six will amaze you. No, it won't. It never does. No matter how many times I fall for it. So they enter eBay and now it's just like the emoji movie. The pair spend time roaming around the website, pointing out the items the website has to offer. 
sports memorabilia, and big baby clothes called lingerie. Oh. And then they show how the site's bidding system works. 310. 315. 320. 325. Oh man, this guy's good. Fortunately, this advertisement quickly turns to an actual joke, because our heroes have no idea how bidding works. One thousand! One thousand! Fifteen thousand! Sixteen! Seventeen! Twenty-seven! 27 and 1! And sold! You just paid the price of a used car for a Wii Wheel. I could 3D print that for less than a buck! So they find out after the fact that they need to pay for the item with actual money. But being computer programs, they don't exactly have cash. So they go back to Mr. Clickbait. Click right here to find out how. Back off, pop up. <laughs> Dang, pop up blockers. <laughs> Again, a pretty funny joke and they ask him how to get rich playing video games. Now, if we were being realistic, here's what would actually happen. Click here and uh, I'll take you to my website. You are an idiot! Uh, uh, what the hell? The internet? But because this is Disney, the guy is trustworthy and offers them a way to make fast cash by selling in-game items for real money. We got a guy in Des Moines, Iowa, who will pay 40 grand for Shank's car from a game called Slaughter Race. So the pair travels there and locates the car, but before they can steal it, some players show up and meet Shank herself. Well, well, well. While the cat was away, these mice tried to play. Wait a second. That voice sounds familiar to me. Is that? Ah, oh, yeah, baby! Gal Gadot, AKA Wonder Woman, is playing Shank in this movie. Yes, yes, yes! All kinds of yes! Pyro, give those punks the works. <laughs> What did she just say? Give those punks the works. Okay, so according to the subtitles, she said give those punks the works? But come on, I can't be the only one who heard that! Give those punks the works. With pleasure. <gasps> End of the road! So because Ralph actually likes having skin, he creates a diversion while Vanellope steals the car. Ralph and Vanellope try to make a break for it, but get nabbed by Shank and her crew. So Ralph explains they were only trying to make fast cash, and she tells them there's an easier way to make money on the internet. Say something! First thing that comes to your mind! I'm gonna wreck it! They decide to make money the way every teenager thinks they can make a living. YouTube! Well, actually it's called BuzzTube, but it's basically the same thing. The only difference is, this site actually pays people for the content that keeps their site afloat a video site that values its creators. Ah, uh, if only, if only. Ralph makes a ton of random videos and becomes a viral sensation in record time. Then Vanellope wants to help out, so she volunteers to be a pop-up ad. Can you be annoyingly aggressive? I don't know, can I? 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 Vanellope goes to... Go! And we're back in the Emoji Movie. Shameless. SHAMELESS product placement! This, oh, this is just lazy. Oh my, Disney. Oh my. People do not buy movie tickets so they can watch a commercial! This is so uninspired and just loaded with nostalgia pandering! Hey, easy there. Originally, this was going to be the website for Disney Infinity, which would have fit absolutely perfectly with the theme of this movie. It still would have been product placement, but at least it wouldn't have been this shameless. <laughs> then Vanellope meets Groot, clickbaits a stormtrooper, jumps over R2-D2, bumps into Stan Lee, runs past Nick Wilde, gets yelled at by Grumpy, and meets every Disney princess all in a one minute span. Sweet mother of monkey milk, where does it end? Then we get a brief exchange about Disney princess cliches, like how they always break out into song for no reason. I once had a dream that I might wear a shirt. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, what's going on? Then Vanellope realizes she's never sang about her dreams before, which I'm sure is not foreshadowing. Nope, not at all. Mm -mm. Meanwhile, Ralph is running out of time to get the money for the steering wheel, so he goes down to the floor to drum up business. Oh, you're gonna like this better than some dusty old cat. Oh. What? You know you love me. Give me those hearts. There we go. Then he wanted to do. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, oh, you poor naive fool. He gets a dose of internet hatred and learns that humans are horrible creatures that write screeds at each other, then tell those people not to be so sensitive, even though you meant to make them upset. 
What is wrong with society? The entire world is not your punching bag! But he says it's all okay as long as he still has Vanellope as his friend. And the good news is he now has enough to buy the steering wheel so they can go home. We're going home, kid! Our lives can finally get back to normal! So I guess that's it. I guess I just wanted a, a, a steering wheel. Woohoo. But Vanellope still feels like she wants something new in her life and has her Disney princess moment in a song about Slaughter Race. Welcome back, watch your hat, hate to see you end up dead. Let's get this party rolling. Is that applying and stolen? Vanellope really wants to stay in this new game, but Ralph doesn't know how he can live without his best friend. Wait, you know about viruses and stuff, right, Spamly? Who's asking? Oh, this will end well. Yes, please do go to the dark net and get a super dangerous virus. After all, it wouldn't be the first time he brought a virus into a racing game, destroyed the whole world, and nearly killed Vanellope. Is he really stupid enough to try this? Copying insecurity. He's really stupid enough to try this. Again! Distributing insecurity. Distributing insecurity. <laughs> what is happening? Who needs life lessons? Certainly not Ralph. He's living up to his name today. I messed up so bad. Uh, look. Didn't mean for it to happen like this. You did this. So Vanellope storms off and leaves Ralph in an insecure mess. Vanellope, please, please. A friend would never do what you did, never. Oh, but I'm sure the virus won't copy that insecurity and distribute it to the whole internet. Do I even need to clarify? Distributing insecurity. Then an army of Ralph viruses destroy everything, and as a result, Ralph wrecks the internet. Oh man. That would have been a way better name! Shouldn't it be Ralph Wrecks the Internet? Yeah, since he is Wreck-It Ralph. It's just Wreck the Internet kind of sounds better, doesn't it? Mm, you're not wrong. I'm not sure why you took the time to animate that instead of just changing the name of the movie, but oh well. Friend. Whoa! What the friend? Ha. Huh. An army of creepy grown men want to grab a little girl against her will. This is rather disturbing. Kids, there's nothing more cool than being hugged by someone you like. But if someone tries to touch you in a place or in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's no good. Then the real Ralph shows up and they decide to delete all the clones by luring them to the antivirus district. It's different because... yeah, there's no reason. But that plan goes awry when all the clones form one giant Ralphzilla. Just go! I got a date with the man in the mirror. Oh, no, 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 Don't you try and quote Michael Jackson. He is not gonna make this movie any better. Okay, maybe a little bit better, but not much. Not much. Ralph convinces his other selves to let Vanellope go because he realizes he was being selfish by wanting her to stay in the arcade. No matter where she goes, she's always gonna be our friend. And we just gotta trust her. Because that's what best friends do. And so he lets Vanellope go, fixes his insecurity, and all the other Ralphs disappear. Yeah! Ralph, no! <laughs> Look up there! Oh, it's a big, strong man in need of rescuing! Then all the princesses combine their talents to save Ralph! friends of Vanellope's, and any friend of Vanellope's is a friend of ours. You're welcome. Okay, that one scene may have made this whole movie worth it. That was epic! Then Ralph and Vanellope part ways, and Ralph gives her a friendship necklace. Now we can both have a half. See? Yeah. I love you so much. Mm, no, mm, no, uh, I'm not crying. No, I'm not gonna cry. No, no, not happening. Mm. So Ralph returns home alone. No, that would be a much better movie. And prepares for life as an individual. Hey, you doing okay there, Ralph? Yeah, I am, actually. Come on, Felix. Let's get to work, buddy. And that was Ralph Breaks the Internet. A bittersweet ending all around. Wait a minute. Who oh, that killer virus that's still roaming free? Did you ever catch that thing? Or did you honestly just forget about it as soon as won't find other insecurities? Oh well, the important thing is, Ralph learned something from his adventure. 
And now that he's grown from his experience, oh my god, they did it! They did it! They did it! They put it in the movie! Hey, Mo, did you like the movie, sweetie? Well, there was a scene in the trailer that wasn't in the movie. You know the drill here, the bunny eats the pancakes, he explodes, Moana screams, and Ralph has to live with the fact that he murdered a guy. I'm gonna wreck him! And his diet! So that was the movie. Yeah, it was... okay. And while it was very similar, it wasn't nearly as bad as the Emoji movie. This movie actually showed some competence. Even if it did do a lot of backdoor bragging. I mean, a lot. So I suppose it's harmless enough. But as a sequel to the first Wreck-It Ralph, which was straight up amazing, I just don't think this movie holds up. I like that they tried some new ideas with the new setting, and the satire of internet culture is pretty spot on. The sun never rises or sets here because everything's always on. Is it a bad movie? No. But is it a film people will remember years from now? Eh, time will tell. But I think this might be one that will be forgotten. Almost as quickly as all the memes they tried shoving into this thing. Not a lot of staying power in that. There was one other thing, though, that I really liked. Uh, a sneak peek of Frozen 2 played after the end credits. And I gotta say, it looks amazing. Take a look. Ah, oh, you just got wreck rolled! Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and... I'm the Invisible Man, and when there's a sequel that's just kind of meh, I got it covered. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Uh oh, why would I? I like you. You guys still sticking around? All right, well, you're welcome to stay.